breaking news about crypto, the only news that doesn't suck with the Oracle. Let's jump in. So let me show you why my news doesn't suck, okay? I have an app that is up to the minute of every news source available. And I look, I open up 17 new articles, okay? Now, um, look at this. Crypto users react to Terraform Labs legal team leaving the company. Oh, we'll touch on that. So what I do is I scroll through on my phone as I talk to you, and this is like a podcast. You can just listen, okay? Like you see here, NFT prices take a gut punch as the bear market, whatever. And I tried to share this. I tried to share this app with people, and I tried to find a developer and everything else, and I have backup phones, so I just clone everything. This app has RSS feeds to everything, okay, crypto. And it's no longer under development. There's no ads on it. There's nothing. It is just pure to the point information once you jump to it. Well, the big news that everyone knows, Terra Luna um, had terrorized everyone who held the token. They went from around $100 to, now listen, everybody says, where's the bottom for Bitcoin? Well, of course, the bottom is zero. But only altcoins have the magic ability to go sub-zero. Okay, look at that price, 0.00004. It's the size of your penis, okay? That's what you got for holding on to that Luna tick. Anyway, this is garbage. Now, what nobody really knows behind all of this is that all the interest whores, all the DeFi douches, all oh, the little get-rich-quick little millennial bitches that know nothing about crypto. They believe in this, and it's decentralized, this and that. You know what? Do you know that they paused the blockchain for a while when all this happened, right? They stopped the blockchain, all kinds of stuff. Um, if there is a they who can stop the blockchain, guess what? Okay, Do Quan, Dong, whatever your name is, Double Dong, okay? It is not decentralized. It is centralized. Decentralized is a buzzword for you stupid new people in crypto. I hate to tell it to you, but that's the way it is. So, Anchor Protocol, all this stuff, all connected, all the backbone of DeFi, squashed, wrecked, stepped on like little ants. Nobody tells you the truth in crypto. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about interest whores, okay? You send your, your crypto over to Celsius. Great idea, right? Look at this. On BUSD, you get up to 7.10% a year. Okay, look at this. MCDAI up to 4. Point, all shit you never heard of. So you're going to send Celsius your real crypto. Now, Celsius, uh, Coinbase, all of them. Guess what? When they're holding your crypto to pay you interest on it, you no longer own that crypto. Just like your money in the bank account. One phone call from the government. Something's wrong. Maybe you're suspected of something fraudulent. They freeze everything. You're locked out. Well, these guys can lock out your crypto. And something even better. You ready for this big, huge surprise? Okay, first of all, some of the people behind Celsius, which is a very respected company, um, are rather shady characters. I mean, let's have, let's have my uh, robot read us this. Uh, you know what? People complain about the robot. Look, Celsius early advisors was Mush Hagag. Who was arrested in Israel last month on suspicious uh, suspicions of money laundering and defrauding investors to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars in connection with several crypto country ventures, okay, from 2017 on, right? So you think that Celsius, just because you got a KYC and everything else is available in America, is all like, this could be the next big thing to fall. Their token is worth garbage, okay? And again, it's just another shit token. That they made to sell to you. So you're going to give them, you know, when you're holding this stuff, first of all, we've just learned from being terrorized by Terra Luna, okay, that um, stable coins are unstable coins. There are some that say factors like the CIA have intentionally caused this to happen because this was caused by one actor, okay, that... There was a whole big thing. Don't you remember they were all, the terror was buying all this Bitcoin, buying all this Bitcoin to back a stable coin with the most unstable thing on the planet. But some say that this was a devised plan so the U.S. government could bring in regulations, okay, around the world. Now, 
You may say, well, fuck the U.S. government. I don't live in the United States. Well, they may say, fuck you too, okay? You can be Putinized. Look, they reached out all around the country, all around the world. They took a super yacht. They seized one from Spain with the help of the Spanish authorities. The FBI got a new boat, just like they said in Wolf of Wall Street, when they said, you know what? Everybody at the Bureau is going to love me when I bring back this fucking boat. Okay, and that's what's going on around the world in every country with all the mega super yachts. And if you haven't seen my previous story on that, you should. Okay, so what's this plan? I don't know. I don't know. Could Celsius be the next one to topple? I mean, these interest rates are insane, right? And it's already, I think they're illegal in New York. They're banned in a couple of places. And keep in mind, okay, if you're buying mama fuck token, okay, and it's paying you 20% a year in interest, but it's gone down 90% in price. Mama fuck token ain't doing you so well. So it ain't all about yield, okay? Keep that in mind. For the rest of the news, I'm going to leave this up, and I'm just going to read to you. So, Terra, all right, Terraform's legal team quits among stablecoin fallout. We don't need to read that. Robinhood plans Web3 crypto wallet for, that's another thing. Keep your shit on Robinhood. They go bankrupt. Your shit is considered their shit, and it is suitable. Uh, well, basically, you'd get in line with all the other creditors and get pennies on the dollar. Okay, I'm shocked about that. Uh, M and E or E Mini FX that the guy was out of New York, and they caught him so so fast. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? I all you idiots doing DeFi and hypes and all that. I have stepped back from all that stuff. Because if they are arresting the founders, that means that the government doesn't like this, and you shouldn't be talking about it. Anyway, El Salvador. Oh, here we go. I don't know what they're going to say about it. Does El Salvador even still exist? El Salvador's president promotes Bitcoin adoption by emerging countries three hours ago. Bukaki, that's his name, is hosting financial representatives. I'm not reading this story. They bought the dip like a bunch of morons got wrecked. I'm not reading that story. You don't deserve my time. How Tether Peg could predict raging volatility, ED. Global financial regulators will discuss crypto at GS. Who cares? Coinbase bankruptcy disclosure spooks users of losing their funds. Again, we talk about this. It came out four hours ago, but we've heard about this before. Okay? If your Bitcoin is on Coinbase and Coinbase goes into bankruptcy, okay? Good luck seeing your Bitcoin again. Use Bitcoin like a street corner prostitute. I mean, use Coinbase like a prostitute, okay? Only when you really, really need a bed, okay? And you use that to cash out, okay, to clean your pipes. Use it to cash out your crypto. If you're to buy a little crypto, that's it. Anyway, but don't leave a whole lot of money on there. Um, let's see what else we got. What else we got? What else we got? Web3 is all bullshit. You said, ooh. YouTuber says he lost $2.8 million after buying Luna during the crash. A dip buyer. A dip buyer. Buying the damn dip. When you buy the dip, you become the dip. The idea is to short the dip, you fucking morons. Have you never seen a bear market before? Bear markets buy Lambos. Hold on, I got all kinds of interruptions. Let's read about this jerk off. Okay, uh, Terry Luna crash. Uh, plummeted 99%. Before the crash, Luna was trading, blah, blah, blah. Okay, YouTuber KSI loses $2.8 in one day. Never heard of him. One of the people who invested in Luna was a popular YouTuber named KSI. Last Thursday, the YouTuber said that he lost $2.8 million that he had invested in terror, terrorized Luna, lunatic. The value of his investment had dropped drastically to around $1,000 in a single day. And I told you, any asshole could be a YouTuber, and I'm so happy for this person. I'm so happy he got bitch slapped, backhanded by an altcoin. I told you, never buy altcoins. What, it's a good story, a good dev team? Blow me with that crap. Luna's cryptocurrency, blah, 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 uh, blah, blah, blah. Massive plunge to the dreaded under... Oh, oh, here we go. By the end of Wednesday evening last week, Luna had dropped to around a cent. And KSI took to Twitter to explain to his followers how he had lost money from investing in the token and shared some tips that he learned from his investment. The funniest thing about these assholes is they say this is not financial advice, and then they go on to give you fucking financial advice. Did you ever notice that? 
This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but you should do this. Fuck you. Oh, here's the best part. We should play sad music. I just put $2.8 million in Luna, and I bought, and it's worth less than 50 k but that's okay because I'm not dead. I've got my family, my friends, my vigorous work ethic. Ha ha. KSI tweeted 12 hours after his tweet before he hung himself in his mother's bathroom. No, I'm only kidding. Uh, still no plans for why he bought Terra during the dip. That makes no sense. There are still no plans for why KSI bought Terra during the dip. But he said that he would be holding his tokens for the long term. Fucking asshole. The project is dead. That's another thing. Dollar cost averaging, that's for idiots. Okay? Not everything comes back up, you bunch of fucking morons. Oh my god, this guy's such an idiot. I hope he's a fucking millennial douchebag. This is not the first time KSI lost a large amount of money from trading cryptocurrencies. In January, the YouTuber said he lost 5.1 million trading cryptocurrencies 2021. Meanwhile, he's a YouTuber and everybody's watching him. You watch me, I don't lose that kind of fucking money. I win. Probably from him. Anyway, slim chance of winning. And then they, they go on to where to buy Luna. Should I even read any more of this fucking article? Get the fuck out of here, where to buy Luna. You know, now I look at this and NFTs and stuff. This is the epitome of crypto stupidity. This really is. Now, there's great, there's great technology behind this and everything else, but for real things. Not for this garbage that all you morons are buying, okay? This is just a bunch of fucking idiots trying to separate you from your real crypto, okay? Oh, my God. Here's another worthless story. This analyst believes Ethereum may lose 80% of its value. Why even read that? It's only his fucking opinion, okay? Who cares? Ethereum analytics firm Nansen acquires DeFi tracker ApeBoard. Who cares? Uh... Let's see what else. Here's two shit tokens. Miami coin and New York City coin fall by 90% and 80% from all-time highs. <laughs> Not even the fucking local governments could get away with selling a shit coin. Dutch finance officials warn against war. They, they want to ban retail investors from creating, creating, trading crypto derivatives. That's leverage trading. Nobody's allowed to be rich. Ransomware gangs extorted 725 uh, Bitcoin in one attack. Who cares? Because that can all be traced. Duh. The news really, I have to tell you, sucks. There's nothing here worth reading. Solana uh, TVL sees sharp decline. I told you Solana was going to turn to shit. Look, let me show you this. You see this date two months ago. Two months ago almost, Solana was at 102. I said it's going to 86.73. Look, the good old days of Solana. Let's see where Solana is right now. Let's check out Solana. Solana, where are you? Holy crap, $55. So people who listened to me on the 23rd or the 24th, okay, of last, well, actually, Mar wait, March, yeah, March 24th. Dead on hit, okay? And then you know what I did too? I even told him Ada. Ada will be back under a dollar than 96 cents, then 86 cents. Ada was a dollar 15 at the time of this posting. Let's check on AIDS. I mean Ada. You know, it's another thing too. This is supposed to be this Ada crap, right? It's cut. Oh my God. Cut literally in half. Hiya. Oh my God. You know what that's like? When I give calls like that about altcoins, and I post them in my Discord, it's like this. In Japan, the hand can be used like a knife. But this method doesn't work with a tomato. That's why we use the Ginsu. It's a knife that no kitchen should be without. No altcoin can be without, okay? This will slice and dice your altcoins. You can go ahead and you can... Dollar cost average, buy the dip, and who says the it's Ginsu ever coming can back up? Of bread so thin okay. You can almost see through it. it I could meat. slice and dice your altcoins so much that there'll be nothing left. Ugh. Better than an electric knife, and goes through frozen food as though it were melted butter.
Solana. Okay, and, and it could cut through a can, a metal the can like this. so sharp it can cut through a tin like, can. Like it cut through Cardano. Cardano was not decentralized. Charles Hopkinson's or whatever his name is, okay, is the guy the government will go after. None of this shit's decentralized. We're all screwed in crypto. Now that I showed the Ginsu knife, the fear and greed index it hits its lowest since March 2020, even though Bitcoin hits a price of 30000 Uh Blah, blah, blah. Terra Luna gains and slides after Duquan's fork proposal. Duquan, you got a knife? Slice a tomato like yeah, this. Duquan. It can chop wood and he can chop the price. Remain razor sharp. What's more, it's a knife that will, that last will completely forever. empty How your wallet. You pay for a knife like this? Before we call it the Terra. Luna. And as a matter of fact, we are going to add, if you buy right now a non-stable stable, stable coin, listen, look at that. It comes with a matching fork to make carving a plan. To fork you. Okay, they're going to fork it now. This is what they're thinking. Let's see. Bitcoin price prediction. Uh, Twitch co-founder raises $24 million to play with himself in the meta hole. Japan's largest bank, Nomura, remedies new crypto, crypto subsidy. What up? Portugal. To lose crypto tax haven status, the state announces gains duties. Well, there goes that. Everybody's going to move the fuck out of Portugal. No reason to stay there. How not to run a cryptocurrency exchange? I wasn't planning on running one anyway. Coinbase expands features, blah, blah, blah. Polka dot price prediction. Who gives a shit? It's a shit token. U.S. federal judge approves Justice Department criminal complaint on using crypto to evade sanctions with the Ginsu. Wait, there's much, much more. Much, we much more. We to have this six-in-one kitchen tool. We got all kinds of regulations coming. Let's see. You watch this. I'll keep reading. It peels and slivers carrots, peels potatoes, and slices paper. California regulator will revisit long-running ban on crypto donations on May 19th. Of course he's going to say we'll take the fucking donations. Duh. Brazilian stock exchange to launch Bitcoin futures within six months. Like, we give a fuck. Like, that even matters. To the price of Bitcoin. Any little hopeful little thing they grab onto, like Lark, this little. Oh, this expanding triangle pattern could be the last hope for Bitcoin bulls. You waste, you read that article, you are just waiting to die. Maker Dow price rebounds as Dow holds its peg, investors search for stable coin security. But then potato chips. This amazing little knife even grates carrots, Duquan. grates cheese, and Duquan makes beautiful Duquan proposes Terra vegetables. hard fork. I told you they were going to hard fork. Did you see the fork? That ain't going to work. Fuck that. U.S. agencies warn of attempts of North Korean to get IT jobs while concealing nationality. That means nothing to me. Uh, it means nothing. Bitcoin bulls aim to flip 30k to support. I prefer the knife. How much would you pay for all these items? Well, we'll even give you the set of six precision. Six precision stable coins, backed by absolutely nothing. Okay, these six precision stable coins will hold their value, no matter what. Crypto goes up or down, they're still worth as much as these knives. Whatever they're worth when you bought them is worth when you had to throw them away. Worthless. All right, I'm done. Uh, ooh, Celsius Network Crypto Mining Subsidiary. SEC filing suggests the plans for an ICO. Oh, fuck the news.